What's up guys, Green Blob here with another very exciting Wax 2.0 tutorial. Now, today we will be creating a muzzle flash for a gun. Along with this, we will be creating some lighting to go with it. This, the advantages of this is you will learn masking and rotoscoping in the process. Alright, so let's get started. Open up Wax. You can find it at debugmode.com slash wax as usual. Okay, so we have an empty timeline and an empty video preview. So let's go into the project properties or settings panel and change a few settings. So I'm going to change the settings to my desired videos details. And by the way, all of the project files that are used within this project, you can find in the comment section or the video section, the video, video description below, sorry. So the resolution of my video is 1280 by 720 and the frame rate is 30 frames a second. And also, I like to use the XVID codec, as you people may already know. Alright, so press OK when you're done, and the preview will resize to a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So, go to the Add Media Files button, and add the media files which you would like to use. Now, for you, these media files will be within your within your extracted masking source footage folder. At the moment, I've only got one video in there but you will have some more videos. I'm going to create the project file and then add it to the archive which I will upload. So import that and then you have your source footage. Drag it down onto the timeline and we are ready to get started. So basically the gun fires and gets flinged back. Alright, so let's Let's add a muzzle flash to this composition. So the easiest way to do that is first we need a composition map that is a solid that we can use to map all of these shadows, lighting and the muzzle flash on. Now this will be probably easier if we just do it now rather than creating it in something else. So open up paint that is Microsoft Paint, the standard version of Paint that comes with Windows. If you are indeed using Windows XP or Windows Vista, this will be different, but the in the process shall stay the same. All right, so hit the resize button and change the resize by option to pixels. Then change the horizontal pixels to 1 to 80 and the vertical ones to 720, making sure that maintain aspect ratio is unchecked and then hit OK. So now your your painting document is the same size as your video in wax. So let's go back to the paint and simply click the fill with color button and select a yellowy button but not so yellow so I'm going to select a custom color and it is going to be sort of in between yellow and orange a little bit more towards yellow and quite light. So press OK and then fill the whole area by just clicking anywhere within the area. Now for that we are done so hit the ribbon control up here and then press save making sure you haven't undone something and save it within the same directory as your source footage and project file which in my case is in this folder and call it and save it with any compression you want. I'm going to use JPEG. It doesn't really matter as long as they support a reasonable amount of colors and call it mask. Now you can close down paint and go back to your wax project. So hit the import media files button again and import your mask. Drag it down onto the timeline and place it above your footage. Now you have a mask. Then what you have to do is lengthen the mask so it fits the entire source footage. So to do that, just lengthen the clip and you are done. So we have our composition with a mask on top of it. Alright, now let's get this muzzle flash started. So first we're going to hide the mask. 
and then we are going to add the Rotomate plugin to the mask. We are then going to tick closed and onion and put onion skinning to a high value. Then we will switch to the line option and just create sort of a shape that can be distinguished. So, oops. So just sort of play around with the settings for a bit. Just cycle between transparent and untransparent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all these shapes that I've just made. So just delete the Rotomate plugin and then reactivate it. And then use the line tool and just sort of cycle between the modes. Actually, put the source footage above the mask for now and then just actually sorry about that guys so just unhide the mask and then create a shape with which resembles a muzzle flash out of your newly created mask so Close it. Wait. Okay, so we have our Rotomate tool and we have our mask. So just hide the mask and then switch to the curve tool and select closed and then just simply draw a shape like a muzzle flash around the gun and then finish it so once we unhide we have a nice drawing which has been completed once you have done that you can hide the mask or you can just expand the rotomate tool and then tick this box which says shapes as mask so now we have a nice muzzle flash now this muzzle flash is only going to show for one frame along with all of the flashing effects. So we need to position it properly, which it looks like it is. Now the second step to this process is to add the lighting for all the rest of the video. So simply grab the square tool and select any areas of the video which you suspect may be places that would be susceptible to light or light fall. So I'm going to select maybe along this door frame and just um, at any time you can switch to the edit tool to refine your selection. So just just refining this here. So we have a reflection we have a refraction of the light over here and then we can simply use the pen tool or the drawing tool to just draw all over here symbolize light over here and maybe maybe he gets some light on his arm so we got some light on the arm and we have some light on the face of course maybe that was a bit dodgy you can do that so we have some light on his nose and some light on his forehead. Now we have our reasonable amount of light in varied spots. Maybe I'll just put a little bit on this wall over here. So we have our light. Now what we have to do is make that only visible for one frame. That is the frame where the, where the machine fires and that would be this frame. So go into the mask properties and then go into and then expand this button which says toggle track properties so expand that and then expand the track properties properties property set that appears 
Now you have an option which says opacity and we also have our keyframing switch. So move back before the bullet is fired and maybe about here and then hit the stopwatch button and select linear. And then move the keyframe that has newly appeared at the start to where the current time indicator is. Then move forward maybe I'd say two frames and then set the opacity to zero and then move back to one frame in the past of the 100% opacity and set the opacity to zero also. So now we have we have a firing of the gun. But what we also must change at this step in time is the opacity of the or the feathering of the mask, which is very important as a lighting aspect would not be completely visible as it is now. So let's expand the Rotomate plugin preferences and change the mask blur to a higher value. So now the mask has a bit of blur to it, but it is also still too high for comfort. So what we can do is we can expand the track properties once again and go to the middle keyframe and set the opacity to 60%. That way the lighting looks more realistic and can be easily compared. So we can just play this through. and maybe scrub over this so that it becomes better distinct and ram previewed and then play it. So we have a nice flash of the gun going off. And that just about concludes the tutorial. Of course, you can go into the preferences window and change all the settings and of course, render the whole composition out, but I will not do that. I will leave that to you and check out my channel for more tutorials and that brings this tutorial of masking and color correction to an end.